Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our arms. My thumbnail has already sh shown you and that's what that was pretty much a spoiler. So we are going to straight away start with our stretching, dynamic stretching, remember not to hold more than 15 to 20 seconds in a particular stretch pre-workout, post-workout it's fine. So I'm starting off with my regular the greatest stretch, five repetitions on each side. I have sped up the video a little bit so that you know you don't have to watch this for long me executing my five repetitions by now i'm pretty sure you're able to do it at the same pace as i am make sure you feel the stretch in your glutes in your inner thighs your upper back and your chest and your shoulders should go through the motion of contraction and stretch while we go down and rotate upwards so five repetitions each side hardly takes a minute maybe two minutes if you're taking a break in between to readjust yourself rebalance yourself post the uh, greatest stretch i'm going to do the usual deep squat by hinging how do i hinge i push my glutes as far behind as possible and then start bending my knees once my hamstrings are completely stretched and go into a deep squat sit there for five to ten seconds move on to my ankles a little bit shift my weight onto my ankles a little bit to get that mobility now for my warm-up i did one set of each for my tricep and bicep 15 repetitions simple partial uh, range of motion for biceps it was dumbbell curls just locked in in between and for triceps i used tricep kickbacks like i did last time again partial range of motion not completely locking out in in my biceps no full contraction no full completely down for tricep kickbacks i was trying to get as much contraction as possible by keeping my elbows far behind my body to an inclined bench now if you want you can rest your head on the bench i prefer not i prefer to be able to move freely the weight is less so it's not much of a demanding exercise for the warm-up the focus here is to get as much blood running into your biceps and triceps as possible. You don't have to take a break in between because we are working two different muscles. For my first exercise in the biceps, this is a new one in my routine and a very famous exercise which is called waiter's curls. Here we hold a single dumbbell in our arms, on our palms basically as you can see in the video and we start doing the curls. What does this do? It completely or almost eliminates the involvement of our forearms during the curling motion and puts all the stress on our bicep muscle so as you come up your wrist goes into a waiter's hand position wherein how the waiters carry their trays so it goes into that position and that causes the stress to remain on your bicep and since you're not holding the dumbbell or gripping the dumbbell actually so the forearms are not at all activated the forearms are completely at rest so I have done two, uh, sorry, three sets of it, 12 to 15 repetitions. I kept the weight same because it, it was challenging enough. I, I was doing this particular exercise after a long time. And you can see how my bicep was completely full of blood. It started getting heavy even on the third set itself and the first exercise itself. So a great exercise. You can lean a little bit forward to get more range of motion. But otherwise, this is absolutely fine. For my next exercise, I'm going to do the tricep behind the head extensions similar to skull crushers but we take the bar way behind our head to get that extra bit of stretch for our triceps uh, you can see how my lats have completely stretched out and my tricep is at a stretched position and from here i try to push the bar into the air again i'm going to speed up the video a little bit because there's not much to explain as you can see in the video clearly just lay down flat on the bench Take the bar as far behind as possible and then start throwing the bar into the air. Uh, the reason why I say throwing the bar into the air is because when we try to imagine pushing this slowly the bar will start coming back onto our eye level. When you imagine throwing the bar into the air, it's you're throwing away from your body. That creates a better contraction. I did three sets, again 12 repetitions, 45 seconds break in between. From exercise to exercise, you don't have to take much of a break because we are working on two different muscles. But if you're tired, you can take a minute's break or it's not required really. Wouldn't much uh, affect much of your performance. So for my next exercise, again, I'm going to work on my calf. Today, I tried loaded donkey calves. I would say it was a half success because 
I'm yet uh, the belt was giving me a lot of trouble in terms of staying put uh, with while loading heavier weight maybe I, I need to get my own belt this is one of the belts which was available at the gym so I was using that but I have a, uh, a bit thicker belt with a thicker chain so that might give me a little bit more stability so for my second set I dropped the loaded weight for my first set I loaded almost 50 kilos on my donkey calf uh, raises and I've done as many repetitions as possible 25 reps is just a target area but if you can go more than 25 please do go otherwise it's it it's this is the exercise which we have done previously nothing new just stand on a height lean forward and start doing the calf raises for my next exercise I am going to work on my biceps again here for my bicep exercise I chose to do the single hand cable curls here while doing the single hand cable curls I have rested my working arm on my uh, non-working arm basically just under my uh, elbow joint what does this do this puts my elbow a little bit forward with my shoulder a little bit activated remember your bicep is connected to your shoulder so when complete contraction happens the shoulder also uh, pitches in a little bit so by doing this I'm creating maximum contraction possible I do one arm at a time 12 repetitions three sets with 45 seconds break in between again you don't have to take a break or a large break in between the exercises because the exercises are pretty different and we are working on different muscles that's the advantage of working two muscles in a particular work, uh, you know exercise day otherwise this particular exercise is pretty simple you just load the cable with a challenging weight where you can get 12 repetitions you don't have to uh, mount or the cable need not be at a very high level or very low level just keep it at a medium level where your arm is in a straight line when it's completely open with the cable make sure the cable always holds on to tension never less, uh, let the cable rest so stand a little bit back and you can see here clearly how I'm resting my elbow on my resting arm and trying to get the maximum amount of contractions into my bicep again completely eliminates large portion of forearm involvement here and puts the stress directly onto our bicep if you want to progress this a little bit you might you can slow down the eccentric movement basically the lowering down movement a bit but otherwise it's not required but you can definitely try to get more work done for your biceps so that's it for this exercise take a break or not doesn't really <laughs> affect your performance for my next exercise I'm doing overhead cable extensions I'm again I I have two rope attachments so I'm using both of them to get extra bit of stretch but you can use one it's absolutely fine I was just trying to figure out the proper positioning so that's the reason you might see me leaning a little bit forward and backward but the exercise all happens in the upper back portion of your uh, body so the old focus is to make sure your triceps are at its stretch you can take your arms as far behind as possible here you might see them just beside my ears but you can if you if you are able to you can take them far behind and get maximum amount of stretch on your triceps the biggest advantage of this particular exercise is we try to achieve maximum amount of extension while uh, the load is never resting like we did in our previous uh, behind the head extensions with the barbell the load is never resting there's a constant pull on your arm due to the cable constantly pulling a different strength curve a great exercise again to work on our triceps but in the last few reps I was almost near failure I was not able to push the weight down so but it was, it was good exercise so great amount of blood pump for my next set of exercises here there was a oh, as you can see this bar this particular bar which allows me to do hammer curls on a bar, uh, barbell if you don't have this you can you, uh, do the hammer curls with the regular dumbbells there wouldn't be much of difference but I, I really like this bar it puts my hands in a comfortable position in terms of my wrist they're com uh, completely comfortable and I started doing 
two sets 12 repetitions of hammer curls to get that final pump going into my arms and I use the same bar to do close grip bench press again due to the way the particular bar is built it's very easy to maintain the close grip and it's very easy on the wrist because it takes a natural wrist uh, position so two sets 12 repetitions now if you don't have this particular bar you can still do this exercise on a smith machine with dumbbells with a normal bar absolutely fine if you if you don't have any of it even a kettlebell is totally fine it's just close grip press wherein we are focusing on the pressing power of our triceps so every time you press you press with your triceps there will be a little bit chest activation but not much more focus is on the triceps and that's it thank you for joining me thank you so much for watching my video if you did like the exercise and the workout was efficient for you please do drop a like and if you have any feedback drop a comment if you haven't yet subscribed please do subscribe to the channel i'm finishing off with my static stretches 20 second holds wherein i'm first stretching my biceps one arm at a time hold on to a support and turn away from your arm basically move your shoulder away from your uh, elbow joint where these are the two junctions where the biceps origin and insert so we are stretching the bicep that way for my tricep it's a regular stretch on a flat bench place your elbows on the bench and slowly move back placing and start getting your head in between your hands this creates a stretch in our back and our triceps so a little bit of stretch you might feel in your lats also but the triceps are also getting equally stretched folded hands is a better option because that again creates an uh, stretch in between the connection points thank you and i'll see you in the next video